Welcome to Awesome Code. Please subscribe to my channel. In this video, we will learn how to create table and it rows using for loop. And for each row, we are going to create cell, each with a text node. So first I'm going to add a HTML tag. In our body tag, inside our body, I'm going to add a table tag and a key body tag. And now I'm going to use our script tag. And first we are going to find the T body element in which we are going to create a rows using for loop. This will be constant t body and document dot query selector to find our t body tag or t body element t body Use a for loop. Let i set to zero. I less than ten. We are going to create ten rows in i plus plus. Inside this for loop, we are going to create. Uh, Row by using a document dot create element and we need to create table rows so I'm And we get our table row. This will create an individual row. And now I'm going to use another follow for let. equals to zero and our x less than five with five cells for each row and then our x plus plus and we are going to create table data by calling document dot create element and pass in td for table data and with the table data we are going to append child and we are going to pass in document dot create text node we are adding a text node 
So I'm going to pass in x plus. Yeah, it's a gamma separation. And plus, this will be our i. I and at the end, I will add x. We are just creating our text node. So, and here will be x. And now I'm going to add table data to table row. So we are going to use tr.panchild. tr.pan child and pass in our table data. And now we can attach the new row to its parent by calling tbody dot pen child after this bar loop t body dot pen child and here we are going to pass in table row And when we open uh, our page in a web browser, we can see those uh, rows are created for us. Rows, cells, and the data inside. To keep on learning, please subscribe to my channel, Assem Code. Keep supporting me, and thank you for watching.